hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to be sharing my weight loss journey with you all uh, there have been several questions here on my channel um, and on my Instagram uh, asking how I got started why I got started what I eat uh, if I feel like uh, getting a trainer is worth the money and so yeah that's what i'm going to share with you here today so first question i get all the time is how did i get started literally woke up one day and was like i'm tired so right after my son's fourth birthday i made the decision to stop eating meat i asked myself what could i eliminate from my diet that i would not feel deprived and i wouldn't miss and meat is one of them i'm not a big meat eater uh so eliminating meat was easy for me uh sugar and carbs hard so i was like you know what let me just start small let me just take meat out so no chicken no beef i've never eaten pork i'm not a pork eater at all uh so that was an easy one um, i mainly just eat chicken and turkey and fish so uh, i told myself let's do try to do like vegetarian style so i ate fish and vegetables and some carbs so that's how I started I just eliminated meat so that's just a tip if there's something in your diet that you feel like you can eliminate and not miss uh, do that so if you're someone who occasionally likes sweets but you're not a big sweets person start there just like you know I'm gonna cut sweets completely out uh, for me it was meat so that helped um, within the first couple of weeks, I started to really notice a change in my weight. So by the end of September, I was down four pounds and that kind of kickstarted things for me. I was like, whoa, this is working and I like it. <laughs> so that's how I got started. I literally woke up one day and was like, I'm tired of this body. I don't like the way I feel. And I consider myself a very confident person. And so when I started feeling like that, I knew that it was something I needed to change. And that's how pretty much how I got started. Next question I get often is uh, about going to the gym. So. I made the decision to get a personal trainer in November of 2018. So I signed a one year contract for personal training sessions twice a week for 30 minutes each session. Uh, fortunately, I work for a company that does reimbursement for uh, gym memberships and a portion uh, for my training sessions. Well, we have a threshold for training and yoga and classes and things like that of $800. Uh, so for one full year contract, my uh, training sessions was a total of $3,200. My company only paid for $800. The rest came out of my pocket. So that's something else uh, that you, you have to be mindful of when you do decide or if you decide to do a personal trainer it is expensive it's really expensive but for me it was worth it um i sacrificed shopping because for i'm like why am i buying new clothes for this body that i'm not happy in so i was like okay i just won't shop i'll just wear what i have and um i work all the time anyway and when i'm not at work i'm in workout clothes going to the gym so it was a pretty pretty easy decision for me when it comes to like certain things and like quality and things that i want to do for myself i really don't put a price tag on it i'm like i don't even think about it you know it's some things you just you just like look this is what i want to do this is what i'm going to do um so that's that's pretty much how i did that i just walked into the gym signed a membership the guy was like do you want training sessions i was like sure sign me up he's like you want to do one year i was like he's like you want to do six months or one year i was like oh let's just do one year uh so yeah got with my trainer i actually went through two different trainers my first trainer got another job somewhere else and he offered to continue to train me off-site but it's just more convenient to 
have a gym that actually has your trainer in inside and someone asked me that like is your trainer with the gym and he is so it's it's like the best of both worlds i have my trainer i have access to my gym 24 hours and i, I have amazing child care there it has been a amazing experience it's kind of like a, a family now with my trainer and and you know the child care lady there they're used to seeing us something's very popular at the gym now so um i just i love it so i'm literally like addicted to the gym if there's a day i don't go i don't feel right like sundays i don't go to the gym now uh i recently started doing that a few months back because my trainer said i need a rest day so sunday is my official rest day uh but i still feel empty i always feel like i just i just need to go in there and just you know smell it <laughs> and just you know look around uh but yeah so when you start feeling like that like that's that's amazing because some people look at the gym like it's so intimidating um people are gonna judge me and i felt like that too at first you know i was i was very intimidated but at the same time i never felt any judgment people were always so helpful um the staff was extremely like supportive and like cheering me on so that helped um but yeah i it to answer all of your questions about training sessions, yes, I highly recommend them, uh, especially if you're someone who is clueless as to where to start or what to do. I had no clue how to work equipment. I had no clue like how much weight I should be using versus how much I shouldn't. And that's what trainers are for. Uh, what to eat. I didn't really struggle with diet because I had kind of already started that on my own. Um, but trainers are good for that too. They help you with the diet. They will make a meal plan for you if you need that. So um, it's, it's definitely worth the money when you think about the benefits that come from it. But if you cannot afford a trainer or if it's just not you know, something that you feel that you need or want to do, there are other options. Um, there are tons of workout videos on youtube that you can use i've never used youtube videos <laughs> to do workouts because i use my own videos i record all of my training sessions so i use my own workouts to kind of motivate me but there are tons of youtube videos out there that you can use to do workouts at home but there's a day that i can't get to the gym which is where rare i do workouts at home uh, so even on Sundays when I don't go to the gym, I still do stuff at home. Like I'll run up and down the stairs. I'll do jumping jacks. Um, I'll look at some of my videos of things that I can just do using my own body weight. Uh, so I'm constantly doing stuff at home to kind of just keep my body going. Um, there's never a moment when I'm at home and I'm just like, I ain't doing nothing today. Like I'm always doing something. My accountability partners out there <laughs> will co-sign for me they they know I'm, I'm i'm always doing something i'm always moving so so yeah that um i would highly recommend yes a trainer if you can't get a trainer find something on youtube if that's not what you want to do at least try to get a gym membership you know like try to get in there and get going and and just set small realistic goals so that brings me to my goals that I set. So for me, I set a pound a week. My goal was to lose one pound a week. Um, and that's what I did. So every single Wednesday, I would weigh myself. So once I started my training sessions in November, that was like, okay, cool. I meet with my trainer twice a week. On all the other days, I'm just going to do cardio. So I, I would just run. I would run from for 30 to 40 minutes. Now... If you're not into running, just start out walking. Just do a walk, do something, just move. Uh, and you don't have to spend a lot of time, I'm telling you. I would literally just do 30 minutes some days and feel amazing. So I know a lot of times people feel like when they go to the gym, they gotta spend all this time in the gym. You don't, I don't. You know, like I've said, I'm a mom, I have a career. I don't have time to spend hours in a gym. So don't feel like you have to go in a gym and spend several hours because you do not. Uh, but I did go every day. Uh, and it was something that I felt was important for me to kind of prioritize. So um, for me, I would just go after work. I am naturally a morning person. So I would love to work out in the mornings. And I could technically work out in the mornings, but then that would mean 
I would have to prioritize my son's morning routine. And that's just not something that I want to sacrifice. Uh, I enjoy spending the mornings with him. I enjoy, you know, getting him ready in the morning for school. I enjoy dropping him off at school. So things like that, I just wasn't willing to compromise or sacrifice. So I work out in the evenings after work. Uh, I do take my workout clothes with me to the office every single day. Uh, when I get off, I change my clothes in my office. I pick up my son and then I go to the gym. Um, fortunately, I live in close proximity to my office, my son's school and my gym. So it's super convenient. I never feel inconvenienced um, in, in that way. So that's something else I would suggest. Try to find a gym close to your, your office or close to your home. So it doesn't feel like you are being inconvenienced or you're taking too much time out of your day to go. Uh, so that's just something that I, that I've done to keep me motivated. Uh, and I'm sorry I'm bouncing around here, but to go back to setting like realistic goals, um, my goal was to lose a pound a week. And that is kind of what kept me motivated because I would weigh myself in every single Wednesday and like Saturday, I would already be thinking about, gosh, I can't wait till Wednesday to see if I've lost weight. You know, and I knew that I would, but, you know, because I would feel it and my clothes were like super big. And, I, you know, I was just like, I know Wednesday, like I'm going to be down like a pound or two. And so, you know, that motivated me to like go to the gym, like go, Shauna. I know you don't want to go. I know you don't feel like it, but it's 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes out of your day. Like we spend 30 minutes scrolling on Instagram. We spend 30 minutes watching silly shows like Love and Hip Hop and housewives of atlanta you can spend 30 minutes in the gym like and you can still watch those shows like i sometimes work out and watch youtube videos <laughs> tv shows that i haven't watched my gym has tvs so you can multitask um and i've scrolled instagram at the gym like on the treadmill walking so there's really no excuse like none at all and when you think about it it's like wow yeah that's such a small part of my day that once it's done and over with, you can go about the rest of your day. Like even after I leave the gym in the evenings, I can still like do other stuff if I need to, you know, go to the grocery store, or run to Target or, you know, do whatever. So it's not taking that much time out of my day. So yeah, that's really what kept me motivated is seeing the results and being consistent. You have to be consistent. I cannot stress that enough. You cannot be someone who just occasionally goes to the gym and works out. You can't be someone who just thinks you can eat whatever because you're going to the gym every day. Uh, we all know this rule, the 80-20 the rule. Weight loss is 80% of what you eat and 20% of what you do in the gym. So if you're not eating right, you can work out every day, all day, and your body is not going to respond well. I'm not an expert by no means. I'm not a fitness expert. I'm not nobody's like dietitian or anything like that. But... <laughs> Studies have shown uh, that if you do not have a healthy diet, you're not going to see any results. So if you're someone, you're like, man, I go to the gym, but I'm not seeing no results. What are you eating? Guarantee you it's what you're eating. So start there. Um, but I mean, long story short, I just, I stay motivated from seeing the results. You know, once I start seeing the weight come off, it was like, pfft. Oh, I got this. You know, I'm like, all I got to do is just go every day for 30 minutes, 40 minutes when I'm feeling myself or when I got a little extra time. And then I got a trainer two days out of those out of the week. And all I got to do is show up. He going to do all the rest. You know, like, obviously I'm doing the work, but you just got to show up. You don't have to worry, like, wonder what, what am I going to do today? Am I going to work on my legs today? Am I going to work on my arms? Am I doing abs, glutes? Like, you literally just show up and your trainer's like, all right, we're doing legs today. And you're like, okay. You know, so for me, that was, like, the best part. It's like, shh, I got somebody that's going to hold me accountable in the gym and outside the gym. And... All I got to do is just show up, 
So, and you're going to see results. And then when you're at home, all you got to do is just eat right. Because you know you're going to feel good. And you know you're going to look good. So, you know, it's like, don't play yourself. Like, you, you know you don't need that cupcake or them cookies. Because you got to go, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I know I'm being silly about it or whatever. But that's you just kind of got to have the mindset that you want you want to accomplish a goal and you just have to put in the work if you're willing to put in the work guarantee you you will see the results like you guys have been with me on this journey without even knowing that you're on this journey with me but literally day in and day out it's just been about going to the gym and eating right. There were days in the winter where we had snow, like real snow. And I was putting on my boots, got my gym shoes in my bag, bundled up my baby, and we was hitting the gym. Like rain, sleet, or snow, I was there, like getting it. When no one else was in the gym, it would be completely empty. <laughs> and I would be in there like on the treadmill, like nope. I got to get this workout in. I got to close my rings. So, yeah, speaking of closing rings, my watch has definitely been the best thing in the world for me. Like, this Apple Watch, I don't know if this journey would have been possible without it. Um, because it literally holds me accountable. It's something about knowing other people are watching you and other people can see you, <laughs> see what you're doing, that in your mind you're like, no like you know i'm looking like my friends is like killing it like i gotta kill it you know so having some type of device that even if you don't have people like linked to it something that talks to you like you know if you have an apple watch you know your apple watch tells you like hey what you doing you ain't been moving today breathe um your steps are behind or whatever like it's constantly talking to you and telling you like get on it but it also praises you too you know when you're doing well you get you know awards and you your friends are cheering you on we get to you know interact with each other so that helps too um and then when you see your friends and they're like looking good and you seeing the results it's just it's such a nice way to interact keep each other motivated um and and just you know stay active it's it's just it's just an amazing little community and i'm so 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 grateful for my apple watch like it's the best thing ever i never take it off like i literally wear my watch all day until sometimes i'm literally in bed and i fall asleep and i wake up and i'm like oh shit, i forgot to take my watch off and I'll take it off and put it on the charger. Um, but I wear it all day, all day long. I never take it off. I feel naked without it. So that's why I always wear it. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend getting some type of um, watch, um, bit, Fitbit or whatever it is, that something that kind of helps keep you on track if you're someone that you know you need to be held accountable. Other things that people have asked me, like did I do any like diets? Um, do I take any supplements? Do I do like pre-workouts or anything like that? No, I don't. I, I've never done any fad diets like keto or vegan or vegetarian. Um, although I did do the vegetarian portion the first seven months of my journey, I wouldn't consider that a fad. That was just me cutting out something that I knew that I didn't miss. Um, but as far as like, you know, doing like, um, like a cleanse like you know how people do like a, what is it a lemonade cleanse like for me that stuff is like temporary uh it's not a lifestyle like you're not gonna live off of a lemonade cleanse for the rest of your life eventually you're gonna eat food again so i never feed into any types of shakes and fads or nothing like that i'm that's just not me um i like to eat food so for me i'm like look this is going to be a lifestyle. This is something that I'm going to do forever. So how can I make this work to where I'm not depriving myself, but at the same time, I am eating well. And so that's, yeah, never did any diets or fads. Uh, I don't do pre-workouts. I drink coffee. So I'm always full of energy. Um, I reduced a lot of my carb intake 
but I'm not keto. I would never say that I'm keto. I could never do strict keto uh, because I like bread and I like carbs occasionally. Um, it's not something that I need to eat every single day. It's not even something that I need, uh, like, period. Like, most days I don't even eat any carbs. But I can't. I can't mentally say, oh, I'm a, I'm keto, so I can't do this. Because carbs are in a lot of stuff that I don't even know that it's in, like fruits, vegetables. And I just, I can't do that to myself. And I know there are several people out there who do it so, so well and are very successful in it. And they look amazing. For me, I just can't. I don't like meat enough to eat keto anyway. Like, it's, you know, I think it's a lot of, like, meat eating and cheese and stuff. So I just... Personally, I couldn't do it because I just don't like meat that much. But so, yeah, to answer your question, no, didn't do any um, fad diets, no supplements. I just take a multivitamin for women every day. That's it. Uh, another thing, I drink a lot of water. I know people say it all the time, but water, drink lots of water. Like that is the key. <laughs> um, I drink a lot of water. So yeah, keep track of your weight. Now, I never kept a food journal. I know people do that. Um, that wasn't something that I felt the need to do just because I'm kind of a creature of habit and I eat the same things until I get tired of it and then I eat other stuff. So food journal wasn't something that I felt the need to do, but I did track my weight. So um, each Wednesday, I would you know write down my weight for that week just to see the numbers, you know, something about seeing that number that's like, okay, this is, you know, I'm seeing it. So I need to just keep going and keep doing this. Like you got this Shauna. Um, so I did monitor my weight like daily. Um, I am extremely addicted to weighing myself. Um, some would not agree with that, but I weigh myself every single day. First thing in the morning, I weigh myself. And for me, that kind of sets the tone for me for the day. Um, when I weigh myself and I see that I may be like a pound or two more than I want to be, then I know, okay, you're going to be strict eating today. You know, you're going to be drinking a lot more water, um, salads, uh, no sugar at all. So no little treats um no little pieces of bread here and there no croutons on your salad like little things like that when i see the scale i'm eliminating all that like before my day even gets started i'm like oh well not gonna be eating that um and then on uh, there are days when i'm like oh okay you're under you know you're underweight so you can have a little treat today treat yourself today shauna have a sandwich instead of a salad, you know? Have a slice of pizza for dinner, it's okay, you're fine. Um, so yeah, weighing myself daily is definitely something that keeps me accountable as well <laughs> because seeing that number, I'm telling you, I don't care what nobody says, if you don't weigh yourself, that's just crazy. Like I know people who are like, oh, I just go off of the way my clothes feel okay like no if i just went off of how my clothes felt on me i'd still be 178 pounds because at 178 pounds i was like oh my clothes look good on me <laughs> so get a scale like i know it's scary people are like no don't do that to yourself it's just depressing no do that to yourself you need to see that number like that's what started it for me i'm telling you i went into the doctor's appointment in August after my son's birthday and I got on that scale no lie it said 180 pounds I was like what <laughs> so yeah the scale has has helped me out a lot so yes I will continue to weigh myself every day um it wasn't always like that when I first started I was just weighing myself weekly but now I weigh myself every day just because it just it just keeps me motivated and it kind of like sets the tone for my day. You know, it helps me kind of keep myself on track throughout the day. You know, if you work in an office setting, if you work in corporate, 
I don't know if your office is like mine, but we always have vendors sending us things, bagels, donuts, cakes, the, the newest basket of goodies. You know, we're always getting stuff in my office. In addition to my office just always having a plethora of food, we're always celebrating something, a birthday, a wedding, a baby or something. So I'm surrounded by like sweets and temptation all day. So weighing myself every day helps me walk in that building and say, oh, no, no, get it out of my face. No, don't want it. Bye. No. So, yeah, uh, I would recommend getting a scale. Don't do that whole, if my clothes feel fine and I'm fine, no, no. You need to see that number. <laughs> that number will put you in check real fast. It's not complicated at all. I was one of those people. I was just like you, sitting there thinking this is impossible. I'm never gonna lose this weight. Looking at your body and being like, I'm never gonna get this weight off. These rolls are gonna always be here. Like my stomach is always just gonna like be on my lap. My thighs are always gonna rub. My arms are always gonna jiggle. Like that was me. <laughs> and here I am now. Y'all, I can't even say it enough. And I never boast on myself at all. That's not me. But I am so extremely proud of myself that I was able to accomplish this in a year, less than a year actually, because I reached my goal in less than a year. When I made the decision to change my lifestyle as far as my health, my mental, getting rid of BS, it's amazing. It is amazing. So I don't know if this video was helpful. Um, I was a little hesitant to do it just because I'm not really good at this whole you know expressing things you know i just do what i know is best for me um take it or leave it but i did feel like obligated to at least answer some of your questions i'm sure there's some questions i didn't answer um and if that's the case just leave me a comment i'll answer it for you but i really hope this was helpful for you guys and yeah just start just start I know it seems impossible. It seems like something that you will never be able to accomplish. But once you get started, that's the hardest part is getting started. Once you get started, I guarantee you, you are going to feel amazing. Like you're going to be addicted. You're going to be like me. You're going to be like, I need to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. I want to eat well. You know, I want to look good. I want to feel good. Do it now. Don't set a New Year's resolution. Today is October 6th. Do it now. Go into the new year already in the mindset of starting a new journey for yourself. Go into the new year healthy. Don't, don't do the whole New Year's resolution thing. Don't do that. Let the new year be like a goal. Like, oh, by New Year's, I'm gonna be like down five pounds, 10 pounds. Don't, don't be, don't today say, I'm gonna start New Year's. Cause let me tell you, New Year's gonna come around. I can't even tell you how many people was flooding my gym January, February. By March, I ain't seen none of them people. And like I said, I started in, November. January came around. My gym was jumping. They had confetti, balloons, deals, promotions. People was coming in by, by the truckloads with their friends. Everybody had on their cute little outfits, bumping around, taking pictures, selfies, the whole works. By March, crickets some people i ain't even seen again since january or february and they still paying for that membership so don't be that person commit 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 consistency i'm here i mean you guys can always you know drop me a comment and say shauna 
man, I don't want to go to the gym today. And I'll be right there like, go. <laughs> so if you need a virtual accountability partner, I'll be that. You know, I usually respond to all my YouTube comments all the time. So if you need a virtual accountability partner, just hit me up. I'll be there. I'm, I'll be that friend that's like, no, go to the gym. I'm at the gym. Go. All right, guys. I'm going to go now. I've been on here for 30 minutes now. So I got to get this edited and up for you guys so you can see it and enjoy it. So leave me a comment. Leave me some suggestions. If you are going to get started, let me know. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Um, and yeah, let's just let's finish out this fourth quarter start now going to the new year fit ready to go let's do this okay all right so i will catch you guys in the next one bye